Okay, so it is time. It is time to move on. I mean, I'll still keep it, but it is time to... It's just not working for me. You know, I don't want to bring up my gigantic one, and this one is just too small, so... I'm going to make one. So I went into my wood stash and I found a 9 by 20 piece of wood. I don't know what it was used for, maybe a shelf at some point. Um, but this is actually perfect. It fits on my table perfectly so I can put it off to the side when I'm working on my projects and, you know, iron on it. So to make this, all you really need is some wood, fabric that you don't care to use. I have some um, extra fabric that I don't love but I don't hate it so I'll I'll use it. And then some quilting batting. So I have this fabric here that I'll be, I will be using and I'll just put that um, right sides down and then I put some quilting batting on top. So I made sure that the quilting batting is smaller than the rest of it because this will actually stretch a lot once I put the piece of wood on. And then I need my handy staple gun. I've been hoarding this from my dad because mine, uh, I have to fight with it every time I use it. And his is perfect, so I've been delaying returning it so that I could make this. So I'm just going to make sure that there is about um, I would say three inches on each side, just enough so it goes over the edge and then goes over the back. You want to have some on the back, you know, along the sides, just because it'll, you know, stop it from scratching the, the table or whatever. So this will add like a little cushion to the bottom of the ironing board. And I'm just going to grab it, grab my table gun. And hopefully this won't be too loud. And if you've never done any type of upholstering, then um, what you always do is make sure that the, bot the fabric is nice and straight underneath. Then you're going to pull up on one, co one end in the middle. And then you're going to put your first staple in. Perfect. If the staples don't go in all the way, you can always go back over it with a mallet or hammer just to make sure that it goes in nice and deep. And then I will take the, um, the side that is on the opposite side of the wood in the exact same spot. There we go. And then I will flip it and do this side right in the middle and as you're going you're just going to if you want to fold it just to give it a nice clean edge that is a good idea too right in the middle you're going to hold down here just so that it doesn't spring up because the uh, staple guns, if the wood is a hard wood, it has a tendency to um, not want to go in to the wood very good. If you do want to go to the hardware store and ask for a piece of wood, um, maple is a good wood to use just because it is cheaper and um, it's soft wood, so it would be good for stapling. Right, just like that. So turn it over, make sure it's good, and then we just continue on. And I will just stop the video, put some music to it or whatever to show you me doing the rest. And I'll slow down when I get to the corners, but I'm just going to do all the way down each side and then I do the corners last.
Okay, so I'm going to do the corner. I'm going to do the corner last, and you're just going to take it, and then you're going to just try to bring it all in and make the corner nice and smooth. Then you're just going to kind of bunch it up and then you can do a couple staples there. And then when you have extra like that, you can just trim it off. So there you go, I have a free ironing board and I didn't have to spend any money because I had all the parts just hanging around my house. So if you enjoyed this little tutorial, very easy, quick tutorial that will help you with your sewing ventures, then definitely hit that like button. Subscribe for more crafty sewing videos. I will be doing beta this month, or sorry, next month. So VEDA, if you don't already know what it is, is a video every day in April or August, depending on which month you're in. And yeah, I'm going to try and do it. So definitely hang around because there's going to be a ton of stuff. I've been planning and I'm working on stuff as we speak. So yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'll be doing lots of tips, videos, techniques, um, tutorials, just, you know, all things sewing related. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!